Hello everyone, welcome to another FU Money and we today I'm going to talk about the uh, price action on Bitcoin but I will also show you something that I was watching closely on the charts and I think it might have some impact in the next few days or even weeks. Uh, so let's go directly to the chart. Okay, so here we are with the price to time model um let me zoom in so you guys can see it better okay here we are so we are trading below the curve line so that's a very good sign it's um again uh, for those who don't know yet the price to time model as long as the price is trading below this orange curve line here there is no reason to think the price action is overextended to the upside and so i don't expect uh so much um you know corrections or big volatility on the price action so according to the price to time model everything is going fine uh the 20 20 period moving average still trying to catch up with the price action but we are somewhat distant right now the 20 period weekly is around 42,000 and a half and the 20 period moving average is around 13,500 13,500 dollars so everything looks good everything looks healthy and sustainable so the price to time model is giving me good indications for the future uh, however, in my previous video, as you all know, I also analyzed the Pi cycle indicator because so many people asked me to do that. So let me just check what's happening here. I'm just turning it on and turning off my two moving averages so we can see better what is happening with the Pi cycle indicator. Exactly the same as yesterday no crossover no uh, sign that this could be a top and you can even see that because of the structure of the price action is not overextended so uh, of course when you are about to have a top you see something like that overextended you see the really uh, extended candles here these are weekly candles and as you can see every time you have a top this happened in 2017 and also in 2013 as you can see here the weekly candles were absolutely crazy going up and very extended in size so of course with a structure like that that we have now on the weekly candles i'm not expecting this could be a top although the Pi cycle indicator is actually the two lines are uh, on top of each other and at some point in time if we continue to go sideways it's possible that we could have uh, cross over the uh, red line over the green line so but according to price action structure and also the price to time model I am not expecting a top so soon okay uh, let's go to the MRI and before I analyze anything here let me just show you as I said in the beginning of this video I was watching what's happening here with the dollar and we are going to the weekly on the dollar index the DXY and here it is we had a one to nine uh we still don't have the ninth candle but we will most probably have because the candle number six was very extended to the upside so if we don't cross uh the next candle the candle number nine if it doesn't cross the candle number six or five even so around 91.6 on the dxy if it doesn't cross to the downside of this value here the 91.6 i'm expecting to have a nine 
uh, green line top MRI on the weekly for the dollar and we already have as you can see here we already have on this candle which is number eight the MRI warning that this will be a top next week so let's see how this week goes we are still starting the week right now i'm not expecting uh, very big moves on the dollar right now however you already know when the dollar goes down bitcoin goes up this has been like that for the last few months the, there's this inverse correlation on the dollar price and bitcoin price and we are now getting warnings that the dollar could be topping next week so i'm expecting at least a one to four candle correction according to the mri rules and tone vase rules so don't forget guys keep your eyes on the dollar the weekly chart on the dxy and you will see that this candle right now that we are uh, seeing in real time is the mri warning for next week uh, also if you see here which is very curious that's why um, I was giving such importance to this MRI top in the uh, warning here. <clears throat> if you go to the euro uh, versus US dollar ticker on, I believe this is Bitstamp. Yeah, so this is Bitstamp and they have the euro dollar pair. Um, so what you see here, which is the inverse, which is the price of the, um, this is the price of the dollar this is the price of the euro in dollars. You have an MRI warning to to the inverse uh, to to the inverse direction, which is so. This is the MRI warning to buy. So it's not a sell signal. It's not going to be a red arrow. It's going to be a green arrow on next week. So this chart uh, sort of. Uh, is a confirmation that the DXY is going to reverse the price because this chart is indicated that we are going to reverse the price to the upside on the reverse um, um, price correlation between the euro and the dollar. So these two, uh, these two signals together, these two, uh, the DXY saying that the dollar is going to reverse to the downside and the euro dollar chart saying it's going to reverse to the upside, they sort of um, confirm each other. And so I am expecting uh, negative moves for the dollar coming next week. And that could mean as the inverse correlation with Bitcoin price is, has been very strong for the last few months, I, this could mean I'm expecting a Bitcoin price action going to the upside as the dollar goes to the downside. That would be uh, expected already because of so many dollars that are coming out of the printers uh, by the Fed. So recently $2 trillion were printed and they expect to print more by the end of May, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, some other measures that are going to be taken by the American government. So I expect a lot of dollars to be printed uh, to be printed this year. And I expect the debasement of the dollar to send uh, Bitcoin's price uh, upwards uh, as a hedge to the inflation that we are uh, seeing right now with the dollar. Okay, so this is the weekly chart for Bitcoin. Let's see what's happening here. I still have the price action above the two trend lines in white. Uh, we are now trading above last week. So if we close this week, I'm still waiting for a close above 59. Last week that wasn't possible. The price just reversed a bit. We are now on a new candle, which is a B extension for the MRI and even being a b extension we continue to see bullish price action on bitcoin still trying to break the 59 and 59 60 thousand dollars uh resistance so i expect this is the week that we are going to have the highest weekly close for bitcoin's price let's see what happens but this structure is very bullish to me and I believe sooner or later we will have a breakout again and new all-time highs according to the weekly chart. 
the RSI is kind of turning back up, but still very horizontal, but it's showing signs that it wants to go back up, as you can see here. So we, ha we have approached the dashed line here, uh, and then we started a very um, almost not uh, visible movement to the upside. However, this is still very neutral for the RSI, and I, I consider this is just going sideways until we break the 59-60,000 uh, resistance, and then probably the RSI will turn back up in a different way, much more visible than now. The MACD continues to approach, the two lines continue to approach each other, but still, and the bars continue to decline. However, still, this is a bullish configuration, and I'm expecting something really bad to happen if these lines are to cross, um, you know, over each other. So I'm not expecting that to happen, but if the only thing that could make these two lines cross over each other right now would be a very big correction, which I'm not expecting at this moment. The Fisher distance is neutral, so nothing to see here. Let's go to the daily. So we are definitely going up, and the MRI top I, I will become very bullish if this daily candle just closes above the 59, which has not been possible before. Look, look how close we were to that. This red candle here with the MRI top was exactly starting on the 59 and then it closed back down here. Then we have this try yesterday to break the 59 again, which failed. Now we are on a new candle trading exactly at this red line so if this daily candle closes above 59 it's very possible that we are close to see a breakout of the price and we will see new all-time highs so at this moment i'm kind of bullish because the volume still goes down is still going down and um, that's not very good this is a divergence uh, with the price as you know the price going up the volume going down it's a bearish divergence but let's see what happens i continue to be very bullish according to this price structure so the rsi on the daily is going is pointing up already the macd is still very neutral we cannot even see the lines they are just above each other so nothing nothing to see here uh, the bitmax funding rate we will see on the next chart and the fissure is also the fissure distance is also neutral so nothing to see here also as i said in the previous video i was expecting this correction i was expecting because of that curve structure that was reaching this top and becoming very volatile so i was expecting a short period or a short-term correction to the downside but i also told you guys that the moving averages would support the price which happened so i'm very happy for that i was uh, having this feeling that the moving average was about to support the price if not the 20 period at least the 50 period but i was saying that because there is a support here around the 55 956 and in conjunction with this uh, uh, 20 period moving average also with this uh, ranging channel we have here that would be enough to support the price and that was so i'm expecting the continuation to the upside let's quickly go to the for our and see what's happening here. Wow, we really broke this. Uh, okay, the MRI is loaded. We really broke this downtrend we had here. In this case, this was the 100 period on the four hour that supported the price twice. We have a double bottom, a W configuration here. And as you know, as soon as you break this uh, resistance defined by this height, you will probably go to the 60. Um, the distance here would probably push the price action to the 59 or 60,000, which was not 
obtained yet. 60,000 is exactly that line there, but we are in a very good position to go to 60,000 and retest the resistance to all time highs. So the four hour looks very good. We are having a very nice consolidation here on the volume by price. It shows that a lot of people are buying on this area and this area here. So this consolidation, this entire consolidation from the curve structure is going to be a really good support when we break to new all time highs. And that's a very good sign too. So let's see the BitMEX funding rate. So the RSI, sorry, before that, the RSI is uh, 45 degrees pointing up. That's a very good, very good indication. Also, the MACD on the four hour is becoming bull, uh, bullish. So the bars are becoming white. The lines are crossing over each other at this, at this very moment. You see the blue line is going to cross the red line. As soon as that happens and we cross to the green bars, we are completely bullish on the four hour and that may be the point where we break this resistance. So expect some good news in the next hours or days and let's see how this evolves. Uh, now the BitMEX funding rate is below the 0 0.11. That's a very good sign to me also. As you can see, my threshold of 0 0.11 is this red line here. The bar on the BitMEX funding rate is going up because we are, you know, very, very long green candle to the upside. So I bet everyone is going long now on BitMEX, but we are still below the 0 0.11 threshold. So that's a very good sign for me. If we cross this red line, then I, f I can say that the market sentiment will be a new reversal and continuation of the, uh, of the you know, ranging on this and consolidation of the price action. So let's go to the one hour to see exactly how we are on the BitMEX funding rate. Yeah, we are going up, as you can see, on the BitMEX funding rate, but we are still distant from the 0 0.11 which is very good if we want to break the resistance of the 59 60 000. so let's see how this evolves we have a huge green candle here which is a very good sign that bitcoin wants to break this resistance and go to new territory to new all-time highs which we all want and expect soon Okay, so just a quick look here at the pro indicators. This is very good. Also, what's happening here, we are probably going to invalidate this, this uh, zigzag. If we invalidate this zigzag and the price goes to the upside and the dashed yellow line becomes, uh, uh, instead of going here and ending there, continues when the green candle breaks this level of the previous zigzag here this dashed line or sorry the yellow line will invalidate this range boundary here which is not yet formed and probably continue to the upside so we are probably going to test the top of this ranging channel and if we break this orange dashed line here which is the third range boundary level we are most probably going to see uh, the price action going to the 70s, low 70s, or even mid 70s, and that will be a very nice price action for Bitcoin, which has been uh, very uh, expected by everyone for some time now. One uh, funny thing I found, if you if you can see here in this ranging channel that I drew based on the uh, ranging uh, on the range boundaries. <clears throat> so this was the first range boundary, the second range boundary, and the third range boundary over there. Then we formed a fourth range boundary, which did not exactly touch the bottom of the ranging channel. However, this is a very good, uh, uh, a very good area or price level for a fourth range boundary. It was exactly inside the orange rectangle I drew before that, saying that this was a very interesting area to go long and to buy uh, on the spot or even on leverage. And one thing that I've been um, very curious looking at this and today I was uh, even because of this, you know, because of the recent double bottom that you saw 
on the MRI chart. I've been checking that, I've been uh, seeing that the exact mid line of this ranging channel has been resistance and support for numerous times. So as you see, this was resistance here, this was resistant there, resistance here, then it was support here, support here and here, then it was resistance and support on these areas. This was resistance and then it became support for this double bottom that we have now. So it's very interesting as the, as the, the midline of the ranging uh, channel has become resistance and support for this uh, f for this exact uh, range ranging channel with the range boundaries that we have and that is very interesting which means if we continue to have this midline here for the ranging channel and the price doesn't go below it then this is a very bullish sign also when you have a ranging channel and the price starts to to be supported by the mid uh, by the midline of the ranging channel it's a very good sign it's a bullish sign and look at the size of that candle so today we are having a really nice price action while i'm recording this video okay guys so according to the momentum uh, indicator and the sine wave indicator we are also going up we are still not going to the top of this uh, to the overextended area but we are going in that direction let's see where this candle takes us uh, if we cannot if the sine wave or the momentum start to uh, turn back down it's probably um, an indication that the price will again find really strong resistance at that level over there which was our previous top before the other ones. So the last top we had was this one. If we cannot break that, it's probably coming back down, finding support again on this midline, uh, the midline of the ranging channel and continue to retest that resistance until we finally break out of this ranging channel. So this is what I'm expecting right now. As you can see, the contexts are still bullish. The gray areas of the pre indicators are showing us that the price wants to go up. The, uh, the moving average of this indicator, which is this gray line you see here going up in zigzag, is also pointing up. Everything is pointing up. I don't see any reason for the continuous retests of this resistance not to be broken. So I'm expecting a very soon uh, breakout as I said one or two videos before this one uh, that the breakout was imminent however we still had to come back down here and maybe retest it again before that happens okay guys so for me this is done uh, this is my analysis for today let me just um, stop the screen share which i did already <laughs> so uh this is my analysis for today uh i believe that very soon we will have uh, a breakout uh, with all the retests we are seeing on that level uh, the highest level that we achieved a few days ago uh, i believe that this will be retested to exhaustion and we will see a breakout soon everything is pointing bullish right now even the weekly chart i didn't check the monthly chart but there's not really a big difference from the previous times i checked it the weekly chart the daily chart the four hour chart everything is bullish right now and exactly as i'm recording this video we have a strong candle to the upside as you've seen before so i believe that we will see very interesting price action in the short term period and that's it for today so please if you have any comments or anything you would like me to address on my videos please comment below leave your comment there with your questions i will happily address them and i will explain from my point of view and from what i know i will try to explain the best to the best of my abilities uh, the questions you leave there for me and uh, if you enjoyed this content and you believe this content is good quality smash the like button, share the video with your friends. By the way, 
the the 500 subs was achieved during this uh, uh, last night so we are now above the 500 subscriptions and i thank you all very much for that this is a good indication that you guys are enjoying my content so if that's the case for the new people that are watching the videos now subscribe to the channel and uh, smash the like button and share it with your friends and i will see you on the next one until then bye bye